Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't always say this, but I really am trying to be more consistent and I've gone through those stages where I'm watching a lot of YouTube and it's mostly like nursing school videos and stuff. And I feel like it's been motivating me to get organized. Like all I wanna buy is like organizational stuff. I wanna start planning and I don't actually have anything to plan for yet. Um, but I decided instead of waiting for something to happen, like updates on the whole medical thing, which is really depressing, I'm going to try and just do like a few vlogs, hopefully, because I feel like that's the most like me type of creativity style. I don't know. Like, I just think that is kind of what I've been wanting to do. But usually I'll film something and then I cringe on myself and then I just get put off or I think I don't do anything in a day, but like no one who vlogs actually does something really interesting. So I start my morning, <laughs> wake up at like nine, have breakfast, usually wheat bix and banana. Um, today, my boyfriend bought us um, chocolate croissants <laughs> for breakfast. So starting the day really healthy, as you can imagine. I'm in the process of moving again so everything is a bit of a disaster like my guinea pigs I don't have like I have this perimeter cage usually I don't have that with me now so literally they don't leave their blankets like they just stay on that and we're not allowed pets here <laughs> so I usually would put them on my balcony but as I said, I don't have the perimeter fencing and I don't really feel like them jumping off my balcony. So while I'm moving, everything is like kind of being packed. Um, we're getting there. So that is a whole other story in itself because I've been, I moved here in November. Then when I was in hospital, I had a kidney infection and that led to blood poisoning in the beginning of Jan. Um, I got a call to say they sold the apartment. So now obviously there was a whole like clause in the lease to say like you can give three months notice but i don't see the point in staying here and then moving during term time so right now i'm moving to like the same apartment i mean the same apartment block but a different number so the one i'm at now is really nice you have like a really pretty view and the one i'm going to not to sound ungrateful but it's horrible like it looks the same it's a loft and everything like that but I look onto a brick wall so I can't say I'm entirely excited for that also I've just moved like the whole thing I'm moving again I've just got settled so right now everything's being packed um it's it's a bit of a disaster I'm still trying to get there I was meant to move today and obviously another thing went wrong where a deposit wasn't paid so now we have to wait a bit longer for that to happen so I'm hoping to get the keys at the end of the day then I'm gonna move like all my small stuff, like boxes like this, so I can like get a head start and start unpacking. And then on Saturday, movers and my dad are coming to help take like my fridge, my desk, my couch, like all those big things. So that is the plan to, basically today I'm just gonna spend the day packing then I am going to gym, which I kind of always do, wake up at 9, eat breakfast, uh, then I go to gym. So this is what I'm wearing today, obviously not sponsored, but this is by Fit100 and it's just a tight kind of top. Then I have these, obviously Nike Pro pants, and I usually <laughs> wear long socks with uh, Air Force, not Air Force, um, All Stars, but I washed them because I thought I was being organized and didn't realize I should wear them. So I'm just going to wear, if I could find them, any random tackies that I could find that I can wear. Um, I just prefer like flat soled shoes kind of thing for leg day and I just kind of like the style. But today we'll be changing that up a bit. So today is... Thursday, which is the second leg day of the week. Um, I'm trying to ease into it after like the kidney infection, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I have the operation on the fourth, so there's no point in going like balls to the walls. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do something. And leg day, like the first leg day of the week, Monday was rough. It was so tough. So I'm just gonna try and get ready, 
maybe eat again, waste a bit of time, tie up my hair, do all of that stuff, and then head to gym. This is a bit of carnage that went on this morning. Ate there. The wheat picks I was supposed to eat, but then I got surprised with some of these things. So that is not going to be eaten. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how the morning is going in terms of eating. Okay, for gym recently, my go-to has just been like, I don't even know why. I literally look like a 12-year-old boy, but it's literally been side ponies. <laughs> not side ponies, two ponies, but like at the back. So what I usually do is put two French plats and then like, the, you know, they end up here. But my arms get way too tired because my hair's got a bit long and it's quite curly. So it just becomes a bit of a mission. So at the moment, <laughs> this is kind of how my hair looks like that. So let me just get on to that quickly. <laughs> And I always have this really bad habit of, I have a mirror in my room, yet I still insist on tying my hair, looking in the microwave mirror. Explain. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I feel like I've always done that. So, yeah, great looking like a top your boy. And I'm ready for gym, I think. Brush my teeth, all of that kind of stuff. And then just another disaster that kind of went on was I registration for university opened on the 21st. And I was like, okay, hey, cool, I'm gonna register and realize you have to pay a registration fee, which I completely forgot about. Then I get an email saying, if it's not, like if I don't register by Friday, which is tomorrow, they're gonna scrap my application. So I was like, obviously pretty stressed and freaked out because things have just not been going my way recently. So I couldn't get hold of anyone on the 25th, 26th, and then today, this morning, I finally got hold of someone. She said, no, it's not really like that. Like, they they just want you to apply. I mean, register before them, which is stupid because they're kind of stressing me out. So now I'm like, I asked her, like, are you sure? And she said, yeah. But like, a part of me is still stressing that I, like, I don't, they like scrapped my place. So that's kind of what's been happening at the moment. I'm just trying to forget about that. And then when I get back from gym, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably going to um, try and go for, depending on the weather, I've been trying to just get out and get some sun, going to for a walk, get some sun, maybe do a bit of athletics training, but I'm so unfit at the moment that it's kind of like a waste of time. Um, but yeah, I guess you'll see me for my walk. I'm so I realized I've always spoken of my guinea pigs, but I don't think I've actually introduced them to you. So. Let me catch them and introduce you to my little children. So the first one, there's two of them. First one is this one. Um, I don't know what type of guinea pigs they are. Their parents were like rescues and I also didn't want to get one from a pet shop. So she got them and she thought they were both boys and it turns out they weren't. So they have a brother and a sister. I took two boys, so him and his brother. <laughs> That's what he looks like. His hair is really crazy. Really cute. <laughs> um, his name, I think I said, is Cody. Um, there are, there will be two in April, I think. Yeah, 26th of April, they will be two years old. Um, they are dwarf guinea pigs, so I know you get really, like, big ones. These ones are quite small. I mean, they used to be the size of my, like, they were about this big when I got them, and now... <laughs> they're this big this one is the more like friendly kind of loving one and when i when they were younger i used to put them on my shoulder so now whenever i hold them they want to go onto my shoulder so this is kind of how they look and he for some reason has a tail if i can show you like sometimes it looks like it's broken off of there there's his tail which is they're not meant to have that so this is gizmo <laughs> really cute um and then basically the cage i have for them i hate animals in cages but i take them out a lot and then as i said like they go on my balcony in like a fenced off thing but they don't go on like the floor they only will go on blankets so 
for now I'm just letting them chill on the blankets and stuff. Obviously, like in my new apartment, I'm not gonna do that because that is a bit gross. I'm gonna try put them on the balcony, but also I can't have people see them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm not giving them away and I'm not letting them sit in the cage. Um, basically, they consume most of my allowance. They eat a crazy amount of vegetables and me being mostly vegetarian, um, we pretty much can't feed for food. So at the moment, it's survival of the fittest and usually they win, the owls starve over them starving. And whenever they hear like a crinkle or whatever of the fridge, they go crazy. So I'll try to put a video or something there. But now I'm just really procrastinating, like I should be going to gym. Then, before I go to gym... So the reason I drink Switch is, I'm not sponsored, but it's literally 9 Rand. <laughs> and Monster is like double that pretty much. And also, my boyfriend ordered, I mean, entered like some switch competition where you like get like a rugby jersey that's signed and 16 cases of switch so we have i can probably show you we have switch almost everywhere so i have up there in that is only i only have one case up there so there's 15 other cases somewhere this is the tutti frutti lime personally not my favorite one um i'm trying to think of my favorite ones there's one that's like candy floss then there's like a blue a green a yellow um those kind of ones um the yellow ones like pine like pine something or but we have to drink it and i'm not going to go and buy an energy drink when we have an abundance of energy drinks at the moment so this is gonna have to work and for leg day something is better than nothing so because as soon as I take off my shoes I'm usually in socks and then my socks are dirty and stuff but my go-to when I take off my shoes I need shoes to go out with it slides <laughs> these I got like four years ago from Cotton for 50 rand you know when they do like the 50 rand with any purchase life-changing life-changing basically I decided I'm not gonna go out. <laughs> it's overcast and honestly, I'm tired. I think I should just try and relax. And I guess I have the whole week and next week to get some sun. And then after my operation, maybe I can lie in the garden and tan depending on how I feel. So this has just become a series of random events that I've been speaking about. So there's been very little footage of anything helpful, I think, but what I'm going to introduce today is something that I like I don't like gin and tonic like I don't like the normal gin and like the dry like what do you call it like the normal tonics or anything like that like not even the grapefruit the pink one the this or that like I'm just not keen for gin like I don't like the taste of it and tonic I mean tonic sorry and I don't really like the taste of gin like it's not my thing so my boyfriend who also likes like sweet drinks he started off drinking gin with like flavored gin so um like strawberry gin all that and i was like kind of kind of keen for that but then also had like a a really sweet like juice tasting like mixer so there's another one called shirley's temple it's also i don't think it's a do you can't say it's a tonic i don't know but like it's like this now this is Obviously, it's backwards, but this is Cheeky Cranberry by Fitch and Needs. And this is just so good. Like, it tastes like juice, and then it has this, it says with a hint of chili, it has this, like, spicy aftertaste to it. It's so good. So, during, like, 
on weekends we would have a gin and tonic or whatever and this is pretty much what the mixer that i would use and then during holiday like with my family we all had a drink like every night and stuff i'm not really big on the like a whole alcohol front like i don't really like the taste of it so i don't want to just drink just for the sake of drinking so my mom because of an episode like i had last year and all the medication i was on she bought me <laughs> not alcoholic gin and i at first i was like okay, this is a joke but it's so it's so good it has also like this spicy aftertaste to it so i know there's the the oko version of this one like the floral or something like that i think i've never tasted it but like now i just add this in just for fun for the taste so if i put extra gin i'll put gin this and then this and it's so good so what i've been doing recently i don't know why but after holiday like i just kept feeling like it's like a drink every night and this is so refreshing i put it in a gin glass put some ice i'll show you now and this and it's like i promise you it's so good but if you do like gin and alcoholic gin stuff you can put whatever gin you want with the cheeky cranberry it's kind of hard to find sometimes but i'm a bit obsessed with it so right now i forgot to put it in the fridge and i have one left so i'm probably gonna go and walk across to the shopping center to go and get more because as i said i've had one every night um obviously non-alcoholic um so i think i'm gonna put this in the freezer and then come back and hopefully have a drink a drink but the while ago i put this in the freezer and then i went to gym and i completely forgot about it and it completely exploded in the freezer which i still haven't dealt with so this is the current situation okay so this is what the fridge the freezer now looks like once again i'm still in the same clothes that i've been in since this morning for gym uh, i just got the keys for the new apartment it was pretty heartbreaking going there and seeing that i look onto a brick wall and i've been so happy here it's a lot lighter um there it is very very dark like really really dark during the day you'd need um your lights on pretty much all the time because it's that dark so i'll probably show you guys what it looks like empty it doesn't look like much but i'm yeah it's bittersweet i'm glad like now i don't have to keep moving like i know when i move there that's where i'm gonna stay for a while so i'm happy about that but I'm going to miss the sunsets from here. Literally, you look onto a brick wall and you'll see that in the video. Okay, so you're obviously coming here. Then <laughs> I try to put all the lights on to make it look less dark. And the bathroom. Where you put a dryer. That'll fit washing machine So this is what I was saying about the drink. Like, look at that. It looks so good. Then what I do is I usually put this in. So <laughs> now you can see better what it is. Really good. Okay. and then if you want alcoholic gin this is a beef eater pink and it's a sorry couldn't even see me. um if you like the alcoholic one this is a beef it's called beef eater pink and it's a strawberry flavored so if i do want alcohol then i'll have like stuff like this so 
yeah this is just leftover from december i am gonna end this little vlog thing really soon i'm probably just gonna maybe move a few boxes into the new apartment I'd probably try and edit this video so I can actually really be consistent instead of like say I'm going to be so that's what I'm gonna try and do so I don't think the vlog is gonna be that much longer I have quite a lot of content that I need to try and fit in and see how it's all gonna make sense and it wasn't really an interesting day <laughs> but I guess this is part of a vlog is literally what you do in a day and with term time and that coming up I think it's gonna be a lot more interesting so this also, what I do plan to do is when I do my workouts, I think I'd like to include a few workouts, maybe for workout ideas or some motivation, inspiration, that kind of thing. So this is currently how <laughs> the form I'm in. This is before. So <laughs> this is how I look. Okay, kind of what? two or three weeks after the kidney infection i feel better i mean i think i'm quite a bit like lighter if i'm not mistaken i've lost about five kgs which for me my goal is to put on i don't want to say kgs because the scale doesn't really matter but i like to put on some size instead of be like skinny so <laughs> i guess this is how i'm looking now and hopefully after my operation I can gain a bit more weight and then legs like <laughs> yeah I mean it is what it is but I'm happy with the progress I've made over the last few weeks because I really lost a lot of weight and a lot of like muscle I would say not that I lost it but I just I ate so little for over like 10 days so my <laughs> muscle mass just disintegrated that's how it felt so i'm feeling good i'm excited for the operation to finally be over because then i can train properly and know like i'm not gonna have to stop in a few weeks or a few days or anything like that so <laughs> i plan to yeah i just i feel really good at the moment i'm feeling very motivated very strong very ready for the operation mentally because i've been through quite a few already i'm ready to let's hope this is the last jaw operation so ready for that and I'm ready to get back into normal life without knowing that I have an operation in a few months or a few weeks and I'm just, I'm excited to get into a bit of normality, be able to socialize a bit because at the moment I need to test negative for COVID in a week and I'm, last time I just tested because I had to and I ended up testing positive. So I've really tried to be careful and not go out and just do like the bare minimum and be careful where I can. So. That is pretty much all we are gonna do. I'm just gonna have a drink, chill out, edit the video. I might see a bit of moving at the end of this, but if I don't, <laughs> if I don't do anything more, thank you so much for watching. And I know this is so cringe to say because I literally never make vlogs and like this is the first time and now I'm already like doubting. Should I do this? Should I post this? Is this, is this what I should do? But this I feel like is most me and this is like what I really enjoy doing. So I guess everyone started somewhere and this is not to become like a YouTuber or make millions or be famous. It's just something I really enjoy like in my free time. And honestly, I like watching this kind of stuff. So if I could provide entertainment, then so be it. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and let's hope there'll be another video. I really want to be consistent. So I'll see you guys soon.